This chapter will combine multiple mesh goals to simulate a vaulted structure. A vault is a structural form composed of a series of arches, typically found in the construction of ceilings or roofs. The most notable vaulted structures are essentially arches extruded into the third dimension. By using kangaroo goals, we can design more organic vaulted geometries. For this example, we use a mesh plane, identify the anchor points, apply point loads, and spring forces to design the vault geometry. You may open the grasshopper file provided in the resource folder to follow along. Start with a mesh plane of size 100 units by 150 units, and subdivisions of 20 and 30. This is the base mesh to be used for this exercise. The next step is goal assignment. We start with the simple ones first. Bring show, edge length, and load goals into the canvas. Connect the mesh to show and edge length goals. Set the length factor to 0.1 or any value between 0 and 1. For the load component, deconstruct the mesh and connect the vertices to the load component. Set the force vector to unit Z vector. The load goal will pull the mesh in Z direction, and the edge length function keeps the mesh edges from expanding indefinitely. The last goal in this definition is the anchor goal. To identify the anchor points, we use points in Rhino viewport to draw spheres, and use the naked points within the sphere as anchor points. Draw points in Rhino viewport and reference them in Grasshopper. Ensure the points are assigned near the mesh naked edges. Use these points to make spheres of radius 15 units. This radius value will control the number of points assigned as anchors. Use the naked vertices component to identify the naked points. Bring points in B reps component into the canvas. Connect the naked points to point input and the spheres into B reps input. This function returns a Boolean list identifying whether a point lies within any of the spheres. Note that there are two similar functions in Grasshopper. One is called point in B rep, and the other is called point in B reps. Choose the one with B reps since it will check for the inclusion of points within any input B reps. Use the Boolean output to dispatch the list of naked points into two lists. List A contains naked points that are within the spheres. 
anchor these points using the anchor goal, and that is our fourth goal. It is important to note here that although the anchor points experience the load force, it does not budge from their position, because the default strength value of anchor goal is 10,000. It is much higher than the default strength of edge length or the weights of load goal. This difference in strength factor makes anchor goal dominant over other goals in the definition. Try reducing the strength value of anchor goal to 1, and the points move from their anchored position under the influence of other goals. Merge all goals, and connect the output to the bouncy solver. Reset, and enable the solver. Use list item to extract the first item from the solver output, the mesh vault geometry. The vault tends to lean inwards with skinny edge faces. This may be the intended output, but if we want to avoid the mesh edges from leaning inwards, we can assign movement-based constraint goals. This can be done using the anchor XYZ goal. From the dispatch list, connect list B to anchor XYZ component. These are the naked points that are not anchored. Now the three options in this component require Boolean inputs. Hover the mouse over the input, and it says true to prevent movement in the X direction. To avoid the mesh from leaning inside, we must prevent the movement of naked points in XY direction. Set these two inputs to true. Merge this goal, and reset the solver. Now the mesh vault does not lean in. This is a useful function that offers flexibility to control the resultant mesh geometry. As an optional step, you may color the mesh using vertex normals. Deconstruct the mesh. Use the normals output and connect it to the color input of mesh colors component. Switch over to the rendered viewport to see the colored mesh. It is important to understand that even though the vault has been generated using a form-finding technique of the particle spring system, it is not structurally optimized. This form-finding process is material agnostic, and does not account for realistic forces in metric units. The form results from varying forces imitating natural forces, and is closer to structural stability than forms modeled intuitively. Try to recreate this definition from scratch with different starting mesh, anchor points, and force vectors. <laughs>